G'day guys and welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for this week's edition of our AFL Game Day Squad update. Obviously, I've been away for a few weeks. My team has uh, has struggled without me, to be honest, because I uh, I tried my best to update the team on the phone, but you know, with the buy rounds and things like that, it got a little bit complicated to try and keep on top of. So I've fallen away poorly. Uh, as you can see on the screen, the Western Stank Lords, that's me, uh, down to 12th, whereas previously I think we were lingering around 8th or 9th, um, but fair enough. Uh, we'll go through quickly who is leading the competition. It's still Peanut Butters uh, with a distant 35,000 points just about. Um, but it's okay because the way this platform works is that there are heaps of weekly prizes to win as well. So while I may be distantly 12th, um, you know, I've still got a chance to win prizes uh, each week. This is the true footy competition that I'm referring to, of course, which Peanut Butters is winning. Um, we've got 119 members at the moment, guys, so that, that's great. Uh, if you do us a favor, just check out the link below. It's completely free to play, and you can join the True Footy League as well. If we go to the round scores, I did give this person a shout out uh, in just the tips, uh, which is coming out later as I record this. I'm doing so many videos at the moment, I'm losing track. But Edward343 won the round with an impressive 2388 points, and that's just the cap league, obviously. Uh, that's when we're playing with a salary cap. If we look at the open competition, uh, Free Tate, oh, that's right, I remember that username, won last week with 2,778, and the total uh, overall winner is uh, Mardo's Magicians, or leader rather, not winner yet, with uh, 38,000 points just about. So well done to all those winners. In today's video, we're gonna go through uh, my team, how it's looking, how it's been performing, uh, and then add to the list with um, you know some packs to open as well, which is my favorite part of each video. So this is the squad. Uh, as you can see, a couple of donuts in here because I wasn't keeping track of who was playing and who was not this particular week. Uh, but some really good scores across the board, as you can see here. We'll start with the back line. Um, yeah, Dacos, McGrath, and uh, Luke Ryan in particular with 170. That was great. Uh, Jarman Impey with 128. So those four did really, really well. Uh, Mason Redmond and Hayden Young were a little bit disappointing, as you can see their averages there, 108 and 113, basically. Uh, they were about 30 or 40 points off the pace. Um, compared to their usual standard. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, and then if you go down to the midfielder here, I, I had Jacob Hopper and Lockie Whitfield on the field um, and neither played this weekend, which is annoying. Tim English again uh, didn't play and I had him there. Uh, neither did Nan Curva. So me, that's just a, a brain fade and I'll be better from this point on. Uh, Errol Goulden, he had a fantastic game for me. Uh, well, for everyone, basically. He scored, uh, what did he score? He scored 173 points uh, against West Coast with his uh, three goals and 22 touches is a pretty typical golden performance, um, but that's boosted to a 208 because he is a gold player and his gold average for me is 155. So that was looking like a very, very good piece of recruitment from me earlier this year. A couple of other gold players didn't have great games. Oscar Allen, um, you know, struggling in that Eagles forward line. He's doing his best, kicking a couple of goals a week, but uh, yeah, overall, he's not getting a lot of the ball. Josh Rochelle was also quiet as well. What's his form like been? It's been a little bit down uh, over the last four weeks or so. Really want him to be getting 100 plus. Jeremy Cameron also scored negative two for me because he got um, you know ruled out with concussion. He's also going to miss this week. So part of this video, what we're going to do is open some of the packs that I've got, try and see who I've got in this week, and then we're going to come back to this squad and try and improve it. And also just make sure that everyone that I've picked on the field is actually playing this week. Cool. So I've got two packs to open. I have uh, the common pack, which has got nine players in it, which we're going to open together as well. Uh, but we're going to start off with the starter packs, which you get every week just by playing. So it looks like I didn't accumulate them in the weeks that I wasn't here uh, or maybe they expire but either way I've got a forward a midfielder and a ruck to open as well I really I'm sick of getting rucks I need you know forwards mids we'll start with a forward player and let's see who we've got the first player is Tom Lynch okay so he's back uh, pretty soon I think for Richmond as well so we'll just park that for now go back to the midfield oh that's the ruck I've actually opened there and let's see who we've got now Scott Lyson okay swing and a miss and finally, the midfielder. Let's see who we've got here. It is Neil Erasmus. So probably a longer term option there um, for Fremantle. I like him as a player, but obviously uh, not gonna be scoring big scores for me anytime soon. So nothing really to come from the starter packs. Cool, so what we're gonna do now is open my nine player common pack. So I get nine players out of this. Supposedly a 0% chance that any of these players are gonna be bronze. They're gonna be some sort of specialty, silver or above. Um, so let's see who we get. Hopefully we get some serious gems. Praying for some absolute guns. Let's see who we've got first. Bradley Close, silver, okay. Um, not a huge high possession winner for the Cats, um, but maybe one to put on the transfer market. 
Who else have we got? Nick Newman and Silver. That's uh, that's a pretty good one. I've got Nick Newman in my side, but I think he's only bronze. So that is a handy pickup there. I'm pretty happy with that. And then uh, Br uh, Braden Ainsworth. Is it Braden Ainsworth? Sorry, it's Ben Ainsworth. I got him confused with the former West Coast player. So three silvers so far. Let's see if I can pick up someone of a higher one. Shannon Neal, uh, he's like a key forward ruck for Geelong and uh, I don't think he's debuted yet. He was only drafted a couple of years ago. So maybe a longer term one option there, but probably a swing and a miss. This is Ethan Hughes in gold. I doubt that he's a good scorer, even with gold. And of course, he's, if I put him in my side, he's gonna cost more in salary cap. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put him in. So, so far, probably just one hit from five pickups so far. Caleb Daniel in gold. Now that one has a little bit of potential. What we're gonna do after this video is go back and look through their stats to see if they're um, worth putting in the side, but I'm pretty happy with a gold Caleb Daniel. Miles Bergman, gold uh, edition. Mateus Philippou Platinum, I like that, that's exciting. Uh, not so much for the here and now, but if Philippou uh, comes on and fulfills his potential as a high impact player in the future, remember this is a dynasty league, who we pick up now, we keep. Um, so I'm pretty happy with a young Platinum Philippou. Again, probably one to keep in the back pocket. He's not gonna play anytime soon for me, but happy with that. And finally, this is my last player here, Darcy Moore in gold. Now that one has some potential. He, racks up a lot of intercept marks. So what we're gonna do now is go back to my squad and see which of these players make my team. Okay, so straight off the bat, we can see these are the bottom three players that I picked up in my starter packs. Tom Lynch averages 63, uh, and he also hasn't been in the side, so not a great one. Lysett, not great. Erasmus, when was the last time Erasmus played? Is he in the side at the moment? He is, I did think he played against Essendon, um, but he only scored a 63. So again, nothing really to add to my side anytime soon. Looks like we're gonna have to hunt around for the players that I just picked up. They kind of scrambled in there. But we got Brad Close, 65. He did score 97. Uh, for the Cats against the Demons. So that's uh, his best performance of the year. Uh, but again, probably doesn't make my side. Uh, we'll keep scrolling up here. Uh, here is uh, Ben Ainsworth. So let's look at his stats. So he's had a couple of good weeks in a row there and he's silver and he is a forward for me, which might be handy. But uh, again, looking at those form lines, I am a little unconvinced still. I need to look into it a little bit further as to whether he's likely to maintain that form. Is he playing more midfield? Looks like he is. He had 27 touches last week, 20, uh, 22 the week before. So not sure of his exact role, but those last couple of weeks uh, make me think that that might be a good one. Silver is obviously cheaper in terms of salary cap than gold and platinum. Nick Newman is in the side there. I uh, didn't play last week. Uh, I need to look into why because I'm a little bit out of the loop. Um, is he injured or, or what? But I'm pretty happy with that. He is a good fantasy scorer. He's still in his prime. So um, that's a good one to have in my team. Caleb Daniel is average is 135.2 as a defender. So yeah, that, I was happy with that. I'm glad that I got a, uh, a gold Caleb Daniel. We'll, we'll see how I can fit him into my team. You know, after this, we still have James Sicily. I think I have him in platinum or gold or something like that. He's out of the side, which means I have more salary cap. Um, maybe Hayden Young gets dropped for me this week. Caleb Daniel, that might be actually a pretty good pickup. Ethan Hughes in gold. Uh, yeah, not so great. I think I'll just ignore that one. Darcy Moore, what's his average? 92. So not really worth it considering he costs more salary cap. Uh, Braden Campbell here is an interesting one. You remember a few weeks ago, I bought him for like a dollar um, and I thought he would be a good long-term option. And he's, as you can see, some of his scores here um, show some improvement. So this is not this season where I really like had to have Braden Campbell in my team, but you know, in the coming years, I think there's a little bit of potential there. And of course there, Mateus Philippou in platinum. Uh, again, yeah, he's not gonna really crack my side anytime soon because he's too expensive to put out scores of, uh, yeah, his last game was 42. But with the multiplier of 1.3, longer term, you know, next year, the year after he's starting to get 20 possession games hitting the scoreboard, he might be a good value option and he is a forward too. I'm a bit of an idiot. I just realized that Nick Newman wouldn't have played because they had a buy. These buy rounds are throwing me. So perhaps he does crack my side. Dan Houston, again, another one I probably Probably need to get back into the side um, with his yeah he had a really good score that week so let's let's go back to my team and see if I can uh, fit some of these guys in so who we got to replace uh, out of these guys it is a strong back line but Andy McGrath has the smallest average smallest I should say lowest smallest sounds a little bit disparaging uh, Dan Houston let's see if I can afford Dan Houston I probably can't but let's get him in anyway uh, okay, so your team will exceed 12 million. So this would put me over the salary cap. I'll put him in for now anyway, and then I'll change it back um, shortly because I do want to stay in the cap league because Jacob Hopper here might be one that I take out of my side. Clayton Oliver is still one to two weeks away, uh, but is there a cheaper midfielder here 
that I can give a game to. For instance, Lockie Neal there is averaging 111. Lockie Neal, let's get him into the side. Yep, yeah, great. So that will put me back in the Cap League. Happy with that. Ah, but I did also want to get Caleb Daniel into my side. So let's get Hayden Young off for Caleb Daniel. I forgot I recruited him for a second because his average is 135.2. Now this is going to put me back over the salary cap, uh, probably. Oh, it didn't? No, about 100% exactly. That's interesting. Um, and then uh, we'll scroll down and see what changes we can make down here. So Oscar Allen is not really justifying being in my forward line considering how expensive he is. Machuto Owens is one to potentially get back in, but can I go cheaper? Probably not. We'll swap Machito Owens in for Oscar Allen anyway. Jeremy Cameron needs to come out and it needs to be for a bronze player here. So who's the best performed bronze player? Eric Hipwood had a good game, but probably going to be young Horn Francis. That's not a great result, is it? Maybe it's either Horn Francis or Papley. I'll probably go Horn Francis here. Top up my defender. Who's the best defender that is bronze outside my team? Um, it is probably going to be oh, it's Jack Scrimshaw. I'll, I'll put in uh, Nick Newman. Great, so that back line is looking pretty good. When you look at the averages, 130 plus for these top three, uh, and then 100 and 120 and 106. So overall, that back line is looking pretty good. The midfield is looking okay. There's no uh, platinum or anything players. I'd love to get a couple of silver midfielders in there. I do have, uh, it's either a gold or a silver Took Miller in my, in my sort of reserves, but he's injured, and as is Clayton Oliver. So when Clayton Oliver comes back to full fitness, I will need to get him back and decide, which means getting maybe some of these gold players out. But if you look down here, the averages are really strong too. Uh, 107, 106, 155. Um, Horn Francis is my weak link at the moment. Is there someone better than Jai Amos for that bench position? There's got to be someone a little bit better that is bronze, but potentially not. Probably give it to Cam Zerha. I don't know. It's probably much of a muchness at this point. So there you have it. That's probably the best team that I can possibly assemble on the current strength of my team, guys. But let me know in the comments what you are doing. Maybe give me some advice. I'm still learning, obviously. This is a warm-up year. I'm building my long-term squad. I've got young Nick Dacos. I have got, uh, you know, a platinum Philippou now. So that's exciting. As always, I appreciate your support on the channel. Make sure you get stuck into uh, Game Day Squad by clicking the link in the description. It's never too late to sign up. You don't have to spend money to play. You can play for free. It's really fun. Um, and if you get in now, you can at least start building for next year, even if you don't necessarily win any prizes this year. So as always, guys, appreciate your support. Uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.